How's it going guys and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to be discussing a 2017 Hyundai iLoad that presented in the workshop recently. It had the ABS and traction control warning lights on and also had very bad braking. So them lights were flashing on and off and the brake was pulsating and then the ABS was disengaging completely and the lights were staying on. So in this video I'm going to be showing you what component actually caused that fault and how I rectified it. So the first thing I want to do is scan the system and read the fault codes. Uh, I pulled the fault codes, it was C1201 left front tone wheel slash speed jump. So I get the vehicle in the air and I have a look. On the right hand front here I can visibly see the reluctor ring. And the noticeable thing is when I go to the left hand front, the reluctor ring is sitting in a recessed position. It is sitting back further than it should be in the hub and I can clearly see that there is an issue there. I highlighted it again here and you can see that that reluctor ring is not sitting out as far as it should be. It's moved out of position and it is going to be causing issues. I give you a better look here on the front side. That is the reluctor ring. I highlight the wheel speed sensor there. And if you look, there is a clear gap from the inside to the outside. I highlight that by putting some red lines in here. When I spin the wheel, I show you where the reluctor ring should be sitting and where it actually is. Now, once I have that done, I do want to still graph it. So I want to uh, use my scan tool and manually spin the wheels. I've set it up here to have the left hand, right hand front. I'm spinning the left hand front here. And what you can see on the graph is that it is very sporadic. So it reads it sometimes. It never gets up to what speed it should. And then it jumps out. So you can see it's going zero, two, zero, four, zero, two. And then over on the right hand front, you get a much different reading when you actually do the exact same test. This is a very simple and useful test to do, and it gives you a very clear indication of what's going on. If you look there, the left hand versus the right hand is completely different. So after I have done the graphing, you could see that the right hand side was very different than the left hand side. The right hand side was able to maintain a high um, reading, like as I'm spinning the wheel, the graph goes high. Whereas the left hand side, when you spun it fast, it was jumping in and jumping out straight away. Instead of maintaining that speed and coming down, it was just going up and jumping down straight away. That was because of this reluctor ring here not sitting in the right position. Now in this case, the fix for that was a complete hub assembly, including the reluctor ring. This component here had a lot of mileage done. This is a service vehicle, meaning it does high mileage all of the time, and the customer does certainly not want to be returning for any uh, repair work. There is potential in the likes of the reluctor ring here to rectify uh, the fault for yourself, maybe only temporarily, but if you are able to move this ring here get it back in position here and have it secure you may get a fix for yourself there is a lot of uh, messing around in it there could be a bit of like quite a decent bit of labor involved to do that but you may find that you can uh, fix it without having to replace the uh, complete assembly it might not be a long lasting fix but it is an option for you in this case it was complete um complete new part fitted and afterwards, I'm going to show you an image here of one to another. So the image I have on the screen shows you the recessed before and after fitting the new part, you can see how flush it is sitting out and it's nice. I give you a nice top view here as well. When the new part is installed, the sensor is sitting nicely over it. And afterwards, I test the vehicle. Once I have it tested, I am happy to give it back to the customer. And as you can see there, the lights are now all off on the dash and the issues with the ABS have now been resolved. That reluctor ring moving away from its position and becoming detached 
not moving perfectly in a straight line when it was being rotated was causing the issue and causing the signal to come on and come off um, as you've seen on the uh, graph that we showed earlier on. Once the new hub assembly went in complete with new reluctor ring it was able to pick up the signal and everything has been rectified. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video guys I hope you found it useful if you did please like share comment and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.